CBC News is reporting new tone by Canada and Alberta noticed at COP21 climate talks. Really? Canada is back? We're getting kudos from a UK environmental group for the way our elected officials are acting. Certainly, it is good news and getting really positive signals from the Canadians, said Liz Gallagher with the UK environmental group E3G. And oh, look, we have a comment from the offshore-funded Pembina Institute, whose representative said, over and over I hear the same thing, it's so good to have Canada back. And also the World Wild Fund chips in. Canada has returned to the world stage and can play a leading role in the fight against climate change. Returned? Back? When did we leave? We're part of the United Nations and signatory to the Framework Convention on Climate Change. The only difference this time seems to be that the Canadian climate negotiating team is desperate for love from eco-groups. But it so happens that elected officials are supposed to represent our interests, not the agenda-driven views of eco-activists. Trudeau spoke about the five ways Canada will act to address climate change. One. Commit to science-based decision-making. Really? Well, stop right there, because the science indicates that carbon dioxide is not the control knob to fine-tune climate. We've got a billboard campaign that will tell you in five easy pieces there's a lot of uncertainty in climate science. Bad science makes for bad policy. The science says no warming in 18 years, despite a rise in CO2. CO2 is not the knob to fine-tune climate. IPCC projections are three to four times that of observed or real temperatures. The sun is the main driver of climate change, along with other factors like ocean currents and atmospheric oscillations. So let's say no to climate CO2 coercion because politicians can't stop climate change. For Friends of Science, I'm Michelle Sterling.